Hey friends, it's Lisa back with a layout for Bella Boulevard. Um, uh, two things. If you hear anything in the background, I have my windows open because it's too hot and um, so sorry for the noise. And the second thing, sorry for the lighting in this video, which is so bad. I tried something out, but <laughs> apparently it didn't work. I I will need to go back to my previous lighting. This is not good. Okay, so I you saw the mood board uh, at the the start of this video at the beginning of the video and the mood board is exclusive for this month and I was inspired by the little square with the mixed media with the colors and everything I love that so I started by putting Jesu on my page and then I went to my colors and took everything that was matching um, as good as possible the colors and the mood board so I took some pinks and yellow, I took a mint or two different mints I think. I was trying to open this thing but it was, I would have broken my hand, it was impossible to open. <laughs> so I just went with this yellow <clears throat> and yeah and then with this very pretty duochrome mint color or turquoise or aqua. <laughs> whatever you want so yeah um, I the, the gesso uh, on the background isn't really necessary on this layout because I'm not really working with water I'm just doing paint strokes and it they're all going to stay exactly the way that I put them on so I wasn't really playing with the color splashing water and letting the color um, like glide over the paper and stuff but yeah I was I didn't really think about that <clears throat> I was just preparing my page and yeah I really didn't think about the whole thing so no worries <laughs> gesso or no gesso it comes out the same um, yeah I started by uh, mixing a beige color or this peach color and then I took all of my colors that I had there on my palette and I just went for it <laughs> I didn't really think about it I just uh, yeah took one color after the other and then I painted strokes and and stripes and just a messy messy background with a dry brush almost dry <laughs> Um, some of the colors are a little bit too dark I would have liked them more pastel uh, I could have mixed them of course but um, yeah but but still it's it turning it, it's turning out um, very cute all also with the colors like this and um, yeah so there is really no way I can explain this this technique is just like going color by color painting some strokes one over uh, the others and then yeah just uh, trying out with different kinds of brushes thinner ones and brighter ones and just doing some tapping <laughs> and yeah I wanted my I'm sorry So sorry for that. I hope that the voiceover is not going to be a total mess. Um, yeah, I I, um, I wasn't really the shape that I was going for was really a circle. I just wanted this messy shape, um, but I still wanted it to be relatively uh, like controlled and not balanced. I don't like <laughs> unbalanced shapes. <laughs> I don't like unbalanced layouts. So the shape was it's it reminds me a little bit of a hexagon or octagon uh, with all the um, the edges uh, almost being the same width and also the the corners. That's what I was going for just to have this messy but still 
yeah, balanced shape. Going with some white splatter, of course, and that's it. I will go back to the, the blue color and just add some white to make it more um, bright because the, the blue was really standing out and yeah, that was a little bit too much. So here's my little cat and the cat is a cut file uh, from Bella Boulevard so if you want to see all the new cut files from Bella Boulevard just go to the silhouette shop type in Bella Boulevard and then you will have all the cut files from uh, Bella and this is one of the new ones it's a part of it's part of the uh, Chloe collection the new uh, cat collection and you have a lot of different cats that you can uh, buy and uh, yeah, uh, cut out with your silhouette. I just added the cheeks because you all know I need to have pink cheeks <laughs> on my little animals. And then I went with some white details and I also added some gray details and some um, shadows all over this cat I really love to do that that really changed the, changes the whole thing because you have the these shadows and the the cut file or the papers are not really that plain or um, not dimensional enough so with that you get some dimension you get some um, cute details and my cat was coming <laughs> to get some cuddles so I paused and then <laughs> I continued so yeah just finishing those uh, few details there added some uh, yellow on the crown and some more pink details on this um, what do you call this around the neck I don't know a bow <laughs> So you should really check out the cut files, they are so cute and so easy to put together. If you're not like if you're not the kind that just draws things like I do and then cut uh, cut them out and paper piece them with the cut files, that's very easy. You just put your pattern papers uh, for the different parts and then you put everything together so that's super easy. I created some black splatters and as you can see I messed my page. I messed up my page. I put some or the, the pen was uh, leaking a little bit so I got some on the page but as you can see I uh, yeah you can't almost you can't see it anymore. I put some white on it I let it dry and it's gone almost. <laughs> I was trying out um, my title. I was uh, using this acrylic shape word from Bella Boulevard, but it was not really working for me. So then I went to the ephemera. This is the Wish Big uh, Girl collection, and I love the colors on this. So I took out all of the, um, the circles, which I really love, and I don't think you will see me putting them on, but I will. Uh, put the circles on the um, on the mixed media background okay so there's the truck again sorry <laughs> I apologize but I'm really too lazy now to get up and close the window so I hope it will not be too too bad so I know what you're thinking now, oh my god, I really used this, these super cute alphas and I painted them black. <laughs> this beautiful pink, it was so cute, but I just needed it in black, so I was going for it, I went for it. Uh, yeah, that is cool because I have the black splatters, I have the black details on the photo and on the little cut file and I wanted some more black to really stand out and I, I really love the black with all of the, 
this background with this these colors on the background and I think it looks very modern and very cool and then I took my pieces uh, my photo and my cat and I adhered them on my page and then uh, <clears throat> just so you know what I'm using to paint my letters because um, as you could see it went really fast and they are already dry it's uh, just black ink from Liquitex it's um, this really really black ink where yeah like, everything is black when you touch when you touch it with this ink so and then the, the alphas that I'm using here are the Florence Florence Alphas from Bell Boulevard uh, they have every color you need and they are so cool uh, because you always find the color that you that you need if you have all the colors of course um, then I wanted to make some flowers to create some flowers and you can see above the you make me I already have a flower so I used the, this white and gray polka dotted pattern paper and then <clears throat> on top I went with a pattern paper uh, from the wish big collection it's pink and then on top of that I went with uh, a Bella Besties pattern paper um, in bright pink on top and then for the center of the flower I used I cut some black circles and I don't know if you will really see what I'm doing there when with my black circle to have this I call those my puffy centers <laughs> Uh, flower centers um, it's a little bit difficult to explain I hope you can see what I'm doing uh, in a second I will take the circle and then like there like this I will bend the edges um, towards the middle towards the center center and then it will create this um, very <laughs> awkward circle uh, with a lot of edges and, and uh, point, pointy uh, things or yeah sorry for that explanation uh, but it will create this very awkward um, circle uh, that's a little that will be a little bit puffy try it out just check it out and then <laughs> you will understand what I mean um, yeah I pasted down my uh, stars and I'm already done uh, <laughs> thank you so much for watching bye bye